In this video, I want to demonstrate how to build a NITS learning test. Once you're in your course, in the course tree, either in the folder where you want to build the test or outside of the folders, click the green plus add. From the list of items that you can add to a NITS learning course, scroll down to the activity section and choose test. Once the test opens, the first thing you need to do is give it a title. And then in the introduction box, this is where you can type your directions for the test. Now, with the directions, you could attach an article that you want the kids to read first and then answer questions on that article. You can embed a video that you want them to watch and then take the test. Many things you can do there um, with the directions, but that you would put all of that in that introduction box. Scrolling down, the next thing I'm going to do is add the standards for this particular test. So I'm going to click Add Learning Objectives. I'm going to choose my set of standards. And then I'll go in and I will choose the exact elements that are going to be on this particular test. You can choose as many different standards as you need. So I'm going to choose a couple different ones here so that I have a couple options. Later I will tag those two specific questions. Deadline. When does the test need to be taken? You can have the kids complete it at the end of a specific day. And then I could choose that particular day from the calendar. Notice you can allow the students to submit after the deadline. This is a great feature. It will highlight the student's submission pink so that you know that it was after the deadline, but it will still allow you to get a score for them. For assessment, you have many choices here. Most of you will probably just want to see a score, so I'm going to choose score. Mandatory, is this something that required to complete or is this just a review activity that you have up there for them to use to study with? Your choice. And then active, leave this on no for now. Now before hitting save, scroll back up and click on the options tab. There are a few options I want to point out. The first one, scoring method, leave it without penalty, do not change that. Notice for criteria for completion, you can set a certain percentage that the students have to get in order to be done taking that. So I could say, I need everybody to get 90% on this test. Um, and, and then they just have to continue repeatedly, repeatedly taking the test or quiz. I can display questions in a random order. This is great. So the kids aren't just sharing answers to the test or quiz. By navigation, notice they have free navigation. They can go forward and backward through the assessment, um, but you can also change that so they can only go forward, can't back up, or they can see all questions at one time. Then choose how many times you want them to be able to take the test. By default, it's on one, um, but you can choose any other option there. If you are setting a percentage for them to um, achieve, you will want to change this to unlimited. Additionally, you can set a timer so they have a limited amount of time to take the test. For results and feedback, I recommend just leaving this one on after each attempt. Um, once the student takes the test, if it's learning can grade everything, it'll show a score, it'll show the students which ones they missed, but it will not by default show them the correct answers. Notice you do have the option to reveal correct answers, but I don't recommend ever choosing that option. And then you also have the option for feedback. If you want to go through on your questions and just kind of provide some short reasoning as to why something is the correct answer, you have that option here. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Once I've done that basic setup, now I'm ready to start putting my questions on my test. So I'm going to click Add Questions. And notice here are all the question types that are available on an It's Learning test. There are seven general types of questions, and then there are three interactive questions. Be really careful. These interactive questions are great, but notice the message down here at the bottom. Because all of the interactive questions involve some kind of dragging of items, they do not work on tablets or phones. So if your students are going to be taking these tests on a tablet or phone, stay away from these types of questions. So to begin adding questions to your test, just click a question type. So I'm going to start here with either or. This is basically a yes, no, true, false type of question. 
So I can just put my statement here, George Washington was the first president of the United States. So by default, notice it says yes, no. If you want to change it to true, false, just click this little down there or here, here, choose true, false. And then I can just click the correct answer. I can tag that question to a standard by just checking that particular standard. Notice I can change the point value. So if you have some questions that are more difficult than others, you can weight your questions here. If I want to add another true false question, I can just say save and add a new question of this type, then that same template will come up. I want to change different type of questions, so I'm going to just hit save. There I'll see the question that I just added. And when I'm ready to add another question, I'll just go up here to the add drop down and I'll say I want to add a multiple choice. So for a multiple choice question, I can just type my question here in the first box. And then I can put my answer choices down here um, in the choice boxes. So I'll say number, letter, symbol, once again, I will check the correct answer. If I want to put additional answer choices, notice I can click Add Alternative and add as many choices as I need to. Once again, I can tag it with a standard and I can change the point value. Same option once again, save and add new question or just save and then do a different question type. Now I'm not going to go through all these types of questions, but notice there are several different options there. The multiple response, that is, you have a question with two or more correct answers. Short answer would just be um, something that has anywhere from 1 to 90 characters in the answer. You would need to grade those. Open answer would be an essay. Once again, I recommend that you grade those. Select from a list. Um, that would be a drop-down choice, and the student clicks on the correct answer from the list of choices. Fill in the blank. Obviously, just they type in their answer choice. Once again, I would not recommend that you have its learning grade these. Matching is the first of the interactive questions. They will literally click and drag items to match. Order would be some kind of a timeline or things in chronological order that they need to um, put the events in the matching list. And then hotspot, they click on a picture and answer the question through using the picture. So once you've added all of your questions to your test, you can go back over here to the test tab and notice here's a review test button. So if you click that, you will actually see your test just like the students would see the test. So I can go through and I can answer my questions. And when I do complete test, it's going to actually show me how I did. Now I recommend that you would go through this test to actually take it like your students would and just make sure your answers are correct. You want to make sure that you didn't make any errors when you, when you created the test. Now if you do find a mistake, notice here after you get your results you can click back to your test. If you go back to the questions tab to edit, all you need to do is click on the particular question and then you can make any edits that you need to to the questions or the answers. One last thing, once your test is ready to go, when you haven't had, don't have any errors, notice right here you can click activate. As soon as you click activate, the students will see that test. If you want to set a certain date and time for this test to open, if you click here in the upper right hand corner of the test on that dot 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 button, go to edit test settings, scroll down, and then under the active uh, selection, do set time span. Choose the exact date and time that you want it to activate um, and then hit save. Then that test will not show up for any kids to see until the date that you have set. There are additional directions available in the training course. 
letting you know more specifics about other question types, please refer to those to more, for more details.